Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So, I come to you today with a gel polish review. I know, I hate gel polish. <laughs> um, this brand is Gel Perfection by Diamond Glitters. And I saw a picture of pink frosting, which I'm wearing on my nails. I ordered a couple of different um, colours and their base coat, top coat and builder gel which comes in a bundle which is great value and I really wanted to review it. I have asked permission from the lady who owns this company if I can review it, if she is happy for me to do so and she said that I can and she's happy. Um, I haven't been paid to say anything, I haven't been told to say anything, the products are bought with my own money. Um, and I'm doing this review because I wanted to. So I'm just going to show you the products in the bottles and i am swatch them a little bit later. So I really, really hate gel polish for a multitude of reasons. I hate it because it shrinks. I hate it because it bubbles. I hate it because it's watery. It moves. It, it chips, it peels, you've got quite, oh, I hate it for so many different reasons, but for every reason I hate it is everything this brand is, and, and that's what makes a good gel polish. You want a product that lasts, that stays, that cures well, etc, etc, and this, this brand definitely does that, so um, as you can see from the colours, I think they're just so pigmented so packed full of glitter and shimmer etc and it really shows because you only need one coat of most of these colors you know one coat that's insane one coat <laughs> um gel perfection is professional only so you must show your um certificate it doesn't have to be your very first certificate it could be a certificate of um you know, if you've done a conversion or anything like that, you, you just need to show that you are qualified to apply gel, gel polish or hard gel or, you know, whatever you want to show. Um, so, yeah, it is professional only. Now, I know that you can buy, um, you know, off eBay and Amazon when people start reselling and Facebook groups, and that's fine. But to actually buy it from the horse's mouth, if you like, you must, must show that you are qualified to use to use a gel polish you know you've been trained um on my nails you you can sort of see them flashing in this video as i'm just talking and um, this is the builder gel so i have actually got the build gel on my nails and i've always been really skeptical of builder in a bottle i've never never really rated it thought nah be naff oh my god <laughs> it's really good so on my nails i've got my normal um dehydrator and primer i then went in with a coast of a a coat of a coat of two in one base coat which does have primer built into it but i just like to prime um beforehand i then cured that i went in with my liquid build gel or build me up or whatever it's called um went in with that cured that wiped off the sticky layer buffed um painted with pink frosting and then use the diamond glitters top coat i am now two weeks uh, with these on my nails so i filmed this video a week ago so i've got another week's worth of growth and they're still perfect no buffing no chipping no nothing as you can see from pink frosting you put it on the nail i'm using quite a lot of product but it doesn't move it's not running it's not watery it it it's just going where exactly where i want it to and I do apologise if you can hear sort of rain. It's because it is rain. I'm actually sat in my car voicing this over. So I'm just going to swatch th these out. Um, and yeah, they are honestly incredible. This brand has ungrinched my relationship with gel polish. I can't tell you. I've never stocked it. I've never stocked gel polish. I've tried different gel polishes, but I've never stocked it. Um, I have used Crystal Nails Royal Gel and do have those. Um, but I would say they're different, as is CND Shellac, because that's a hybrid. 50% na na normal nail varnish and 50% gel polish. I would put CND Shellac on the left, 
Crystal Nails Royal Gel on the right because that's got um, top coat in it and things like that. It, it is different. And then all the gel polish is somewhere in between. So as you can see there, it is just as lovely on my nails as it is on the tip. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've tried so many brands, so many brands. There are so many brands out there that are, you know, there's a brand that is known for shrinkage and colours fading. There's a brand out there that is known for um, products continuously being out, you know, continuously being out of stock, always out of stock. Um, and so heavily, you know, discounted more, more often than not that anyone can get their hands on it and people you know customers aren't paying because they can just buy it themselves it's cheap enough um and obviously if you're running a business and you pride yourself on professionalism and your supplier is always out of stock you, you know you're not really providing a service to your customers so that's something to think about you know diamond glitters has never been out of stock it's been really busy since it launched and the customer service is excellent your delivery is brilliant and i honestly i can't i, I just can't fault it I, I can't say enough if you want a good gel polish that lasts it's it's this one it really really is um just to mention at, at the video there you could see some brush strokes in the in the polish if you just leave it to self level for you know 10 20 seconds the brush strokes do go out so it does self level as well um, but as you can see, you know, one coat was enough, two coats, you know, not needed, but everyone swatches with two coats, don't they? So thought I'll put two coats on. And then going in there with the with the top coat, the top coat is lovely. It I would say it's medium viscosity, but my it, the, it is honestly the best top coat I've ever used. Um I thought that CJP was the best top coat I'd ever used, and then I used this honestly it is absolutely amazing it really 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 is so i'm just going to swatch the last one for you and then i will come back to you because i'm going to show you the um builder in a bottle and how you can use that to actually encapsulate really really chunky glitter so i will come back to you um, when I've swatched this one and stay tuned because I do have very very kindly a discount code that you can use to get you some money off your order if you would like to order so keep listening because a discount code will chirp in somewhere so I'll leave you to watch this and I'll be back in a second And now on to the glitter. So this is Glitter Bug from Diamond Glitters. The um, little nail tip swatch on the top, I have done that with Perfect Nails Platinum Gel, which is a hard gel. And the top coat I've used is CJP um, LED Tack Free Top Gloss. I'm just showing you there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the builder gel to encapsulate this product 
So I'm not going to build any height. I'm not going to build an apex. So if you're doing this on a natural nail, this is how you would do it. So this product is really, really versatile for the natural nail. So when you've done natural nail prep, prime, all the rest of it, base coat and whatnot, you would come in with a layer, just brushed on nice and thinly, um, of the Build Me Up Builder Gel. Now, to pick up the glitter, I'm using my Deluxe Gel Brush from Perfect Nails. It's seen better days. I need a new one, but they are continuously out of stock, <laughs> which drives me insane. So I haven't cured that layer. I'm going into the glitter and I'm patting onto the nail tip. This is what you would do if you were doing it on a client's natural nails or an enhanced nail. So after your, if it was an enhanced nail, after your thin clear base, you would go in with this. If it's on a natural nail, you would go in with this. So when that's all nicely in and pressed down to get it as flat as you possibly can, cure it in your light for 60 seconds. Um, you are going to have to do two coats if you want full coverage because this isn't like a multi-cut glitter, but it is a chunky cut. Um, what you could do if you wanted to is put a layer of super fine down, um, a pink or a blue or a purple or a green, you know, whatever you've got to hand, a silver maybe, and then go in with this just so it fills in those gaps. But you can do two layers as I'm going to. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with the build gel. Again, this product doesn't move, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't wrinkle, it doesn't do anything. Just goes on the nail. Now, this might look a little bit, I don't know what word is, a little bit oh, caggy handed. And you can see I've just swiped my brush to the back there. Um, I'm trying to get into all those nooks and crannies and get the build gel to sit into um, that slightly uneven surface and as you can see there is no glitter on my brush which means that that product has cured completely in 60 seconds which is amazing so there's no loose bits of glitter and again I'm not curing that layer and I'm going back in and filling the gaps basically with just the raw glitter I've got nothing on my brush I have obviously cleaned my brush to get any um, sticky uh, little bits of glitter off from the previous application but it's just a dry brush um, and I'll go down the nail fill in the gaps and then when I'm happy I'll cure that So I've put a layer of Builder Gel over the top and I'm just hovering it upside down because as you can see, gravity is going to pull that product ever so slightly to smooth out that surface. So on a client, just ask them to hold their nails, you know, hold their hand upside down, completely straight and gravity will pull that product so you have less filing to do. It's a really good tip. So once we are cured, I'm going to go with a second layer because it is slightly uneven, but obviously you can file this back down um, so it's an even thickness. So I'm putting that builder gel on and this layer is going to go on much easier because it's got a nice, relatively smooth um, layer underneath. Get the builder gel from both sides of the brush. You can swipe backwards um, to get the product off the back. And just add the product where you need it and then I would recommend holding it upside down again just for 20 seconds 10 20 seconds just so it will 
level and as you can see that's even smoother than the previous application almost completely smooth so hold it upside down and i've held it upside down as you can see look it's completely smooth held it upside down for exactly 12 seconds <laughs> so we are now cured i think yep yeah. cured wipe over it with your um gel cleanser um acetone ice paper alcohol whatever it is that you're using to remove your sticky layer with and then we go into filing now i have really 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 bad hands it's not the hand uh, my right hand that i file with it's actually my left hand that i hold the finger or the tip with um i get really bad pain as you would if you were getting um carpal tunnel <laughs> so for something like this i honestly would get an e-file out and i would use my e-file but i don't need to it is so easy to file and because i've held that tip upside down there's hardly any filing to do anyway so as you can see that file is just cutting through that builder gel it's filing it lovely and smooth i am a bit of a rubber <laughs> a rubber i like to run my finger down the nail because sometimes you can feel any dips or um, bumps better than you can see them so i do like to run my finger down so i'm just going to file this nail so it's nice and smooth and into shape and then we will cleanse I'm just coming to the end of my filing here, just finish refining that corner, there's a bit of a bulge on it, I don't know if you can quite see there, and then I'm going to wipe over when I'm happy with my gel cleanser. At present, unfortunately, diamond glitters don't do a gel cleanser, but you can use any brand, I use NSI, I think it smells really nice. If diamond glitters bring, brings out one, please make it smell nice. I like pineapples and peaches. <laughs> so, um, that's all filed. And what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to attach it, reattach it back to my um, cuticle pusher thing. And I'm going to top coat. I'm going to top coat with diamond glitters. Now, when... You see a top coat on top of a gel polish. Sometimes you don't appreciate the shine. However, over glitter, its shine became extremely apparent and I was massively shocked. And I do compare this to the previous one, um, the previous one that I'd used. So the one that I'd used was um, the one that was on the bottle, the bottle, the lid, um, the tip with the swatch I'd done earlier in the day you will see me wipe <laughs> over it I had got a little bit of cuticle oil on it um, from my own fingers uh, but I buff it up to it, its perfect shine so that is a diamond glitters top coat I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and I was just wiping off um, a little bit of dust that has settled on the pot and this is the previous one that I'd done. So this is with Perfect Nails Platinum Hard Gel and CJP LED Tack Free Top Coat. Put them side by side and the Diamond Glitters one is so much shinier. Their top coat is so shiny, it is unbelievable i cannot wait to put christmas nails on my fingers with glitter and use the gel perfection top coat it is so shiny i'm just buffing it there and as you can see it's you know it's shiny but the diamond glitters one my god it is so shiny 
I thought CJP, and I've used a lot of different top coats. I've used NSI, I've used Crystal Nails, um, I've used, um, God, what else have I used? Perfect Nails. I've used I've used all, all sorts of different top coats over the years, and I thought CJP was the best of the best. But I, I it Diamond Glitters absolutely trumps it. So here I just have a few pictures of um the different collections and colours that are available from diamond glitters um and say their range is called gel perfection i absolutely love it genuinely genuinely love it um if you in, if you invest in a in a in a brand make it this one i am absolutely blown away by the quality of the products by the service um the help in the the, the um diamond glitters and gel perfection facebook group you know you've got help and questions and tips and advice and the lovely brand ambassador girls they're doing lots of photos with all the new colors it's amazing um i do have a discount code if you would like to use it it is nthq5 nthq stands for nail tech hq which is our facebook group which you can go and join it's all in capital letters so nthq5 in capital letters will get you some money off your order like i say i bought these with my own money i've not been asked to say anything i've not been asked to do this video i asked if i was okay to do this video and um the response from danielle who owns diamond glitters and gel perfection said yes that'd be absolutely lovely um thank you for taking the time i'd like to give your viewers and the people in your nail tech hq group a discount code to say thank you so um that's where that comes from i can't rate this product highly enough um the glitters are gorgeous go over there and check it out i'll put the description i'll put the links in the description box um but yeah it genuinely blown away i hate gel polish until the day i ordered this so it, it's absolutely fantastic so thank you so much for watching and i hope you place loads of orders